take my thumb. Whoa! Ava, are you hugging somebody? <gasps> Your card just magically appears. What's good? Welcome back to How To Magic. Oh, oh, magic. I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you five magic tricks with hands only. Everybody hands go up. And they stay there. So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for me and let's go. Okay, this one is a cool mind trick with your hands that you can do anytime, anywhere. Check it out. Okay, Veronica, I have a fun trick to show you. <laughs> All you need are your hands. So put your hands together okay. like this. That's easy. Okay, and then you're gonna bring these fingers wow. together like this. You're gonna keep your fingers kind of spaced apart like this. Thumbs or all of Just fingers? Just your uh, pointer fingers. Like this, straight out like that. Now turn towards me. Now watch. Um, what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try to get your fingers to come together. But I'm gonna use a special piece <clears throat> of magical apparatus, okay? Okay. It's called my invisible string. It's right here. All Marcus. I have to do is wrap it around your fingers. As you can see, Whoa. they kind of start to move together, which is like What is happening? Is this real? <laughs> It's time to reveal the secret behind this amazing trick. Okay, here is the explanation behind the moving fingers trick. I've known this trick for a long time. I think it's the first time I've ever taught it. This trick actually works under a few different principles and all you need to perform it are your hands. So you're gonna have your spectator interlace their fingers just like this. And you wanna have them extend their two forefingers out. So interlace their fingers like this, two forefingers out and spread apart. The first part of the trick that makes this work is that when you interlace your fingers like this and put your two fingers out, they're naturally going to want to go together like this, just because of the position of your fingers and your muscles. So when you spread them apart like this, they're just going to naturally want to slowly move back together. So it's the psychological suggestion in their mind that their fingers are being pushed together, along with the visual stimuli of your fingers spinning, and the natural muscle movement of the fingers going together on their own. Those three things combined subconsciously create this illusion and fool your mark into thinking that you have some sort of psychic power. So try it out at home and let me know your results. And that is the secret of the magic moving fingers trick. This is a simple and fun magic illusion that you can pull off at home right now. Eric, let me see you do it. You're good at it. That trick is actually kind of hard to do for some people. I actually have a hard time doing it. But here's a version that everyone can do with your finger. the secret behind the magic invisible string. As I said, some people are good at the lip trick, some aren't. I'm not good at them. I'm gonna attempt it and embarrass myself. This is just a simple synchronization of muscle movements. So as you pull up with the string, you're just gonna move your lip up at the exact same time. Same thing with the finger. Really act as if you have the string in your hands. Then you're just gonna wrap it around your finger, tie it off, not really doing anything. And then you're gonna grab the string, pull it out, and as you pull with your fingers like this, you're just gonna bend the finger at the exact same time. So the finger bends here, and these fingers pull in like this. It looks like you have a little invisible string attached right there. You can also do this with a napkin or a silk sash or like a paper towel. You just hold it like this at your fingertips and you can kind of use your fingers to make it tilt. So you have the little string attached and pull on it like that. So you could do a routine with the string attached to your finger, a napkin, and your lip. It's a fun and easy trick with only your hands that you can do at home right now. And that is the secret of the magic invisible string. Here's a classic illusion with only your hands that's been around for decades. Ava, are you hugging somebody? <laughs> Who is, oh, you fall. <laughs> mm. 
super simple secret, here's how it's done. This is as simple as crossing your arms in front of you, the hands go on either side of your body, and from behind, it totally looks like someone's hugging you, or even kissing you. You just move your hands up and down on either side, and as long as someone's looking at it from the back, it's a totally convincing illusion that there's someone in front of you giving you a hug. Then you can quickly turn around and show your audience that no one's there. And that is the secret of the invisible hug trick. This is a cool way to reveal someone's chosen card with just your hands. Okay, cool card trick for you. Okay. Deck of cards, I'm check them out, they're normal. Yes. Seem normal enough? Okay, yes. uh, just cut them in half wherever you want and like leave it open. Don't complete the cut. Perfect. I'm just gonna take this half. There. So you could have cut it anywhere. I didn't like influence you. This one trick deck. I don't kinda. think so. Okay. Always like um, do me a tricky. favor and look at the card you cut at. There. Show everyone. Oh. It's all right, I see <laughs> As it. you did. It's all good. Put it back. Six of spades. Anywhere in the deck you would like. Anywhere. Yes, indeed. Oh, watch. See my thumb right there. Yeah. Yeah. Watch. <laughs> so, I just take it and. It looks like <gasps> this magic bit appears right there on my back. Way. No way. <laughs> Evan. Is that a six of spades? Yes. <laughs> how did you even do that? All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Okay, card trick time. So this is super easy to do. All you have to do is force a card on someone. Forcing a card means making them pick the card that you want them to pick. A lot of you guys know that already, but for anyone who's new, doesn't know what forcing a card is, it's when you make them pick the card that you want them to choose. In this case, it's gonna be the card that you have written on the back of your thumbnail. So you're just gonna take a pen or a marker and you're going to write the card that they are going to choose. In this case, it's going to be the six of spades. So now that you the six written on your thumb just like that, the prep for the trick is pretty much done. The only other step is to go through your deck of cards and find the six of spades or whatever card you are going to do it with. You're then gonna take that card and place it right on top of the deck. You can show the cards to your spectators, say look they're all different, and then simply have them cut the cards anywhere they want. So they'll come over, they'll cut the deck, and then you're going to immediately pick up the bottom half of the deck and sit it crossways. Now the top card of the deck right here is the six of spades. We know that because we put it on top of the deck before the trick started. Now what they're going to believe is that this is the card they cut to. It's actually this card here. You're going to misdirect their attention for a second and bring their eyes up away from the deck when you ask them a question. The question I always go with is was that a free choice? Most of the time they're going to say yes because they just cut the card. You can now bring their attention back down to the deck and say look at the card you cut to. You lift this portion off and hand them this card. Make sure it's with the other hand, it's not with this hand. You don't want to expose the six of spades on your thumb. You want to hide this from the audience. You're gonna keep this hand kind of down at your side or on the table like this with your thumb hidden. So once they've cut the card, you're gonna hand them this card or you can say here, take the card you cut to, have them look at it, they can show it to the other audience members. The card goes back down and back inside the deck. You can set the cards aside, you won't need them. You're now going to call attention to your thumb right here. Now this is the classic move of making your thumb look like it's detached. Take my thumb, <gasps> Whoa! It's the exact same move we're going to use for this trick. You're going to show the thumb of this hand. You do that by holding your right hand like this. That's the one with the card written on it. You're gonna fold the thumb in like so, and then this hand's gonna come over, this thumb is gonna bend right here, and your pointer finger is gonna cover that joint so that when you bring it over like this, it looks like this is this thumb. It's actually not. Your finger is going to cover the break between the two. That's what allows you to do this illusion, and it's also what allows you to do that and make it look like the card just appears on your thumb. All you're gonna do is extend this thumb out and move up as this one extends out to pinch right here. So it's very quick. It looks like the card just magically appears on the thumb. Very cool visual. It's super easy to do. Try it out at home. All you need is a deck of cards, a pen, and your hands. And that is how you do the magic thumbnail trick. Here's a funny hand trick that's sure to get a little laugh. Okay, I have a cool trick to show you with this silk scarf okay. and my hand. Okay. One of my favorite colors. Watch. Nothing in this car. Take Let's my see. hand. Do dramatic music. Here's 
is the simple secret of this fun illusion. All you need for this trick are your hands and a tiny hand from EbonairaTV.com. We have these available now in two different skin tones. We have a lighter skin tone and a darker one. These can be used for so many different tricks. This is a super fun one to do it with. One of my favorites is to put them on like this. Hold your finger in, put your other hand on top. You can have it reach out and grab something. This is just a fun and easy trick to do with them. So you can take the little hand. You're also gonna need a silk scarf or a napkin of some kind. You're gonna hide the hand behind the corner of the silk scarf right here so that you can hold it like this from one corner and the other corner. It looks totally natural. So it's hidden right there behind my hand, showing it on both sides. Now what you're gonna do is wrap one of your hands up inside the silk scarf, just like this. Simply slip the tiny hand onto one of those fingers. So as you're wrapping the hand up in the silk scarf, you're simply going to place it on top of one of the fingers just like that. And now as you wrap this around, it looks like it's just magically turned into a tiny little hand. You can ask them to give you a high five. And then when you want to turn it back into a regular sized hand, into your normal hand, you're simply going to cover the tiny hand with the silk scarf like this, pull it off and show that your hand has magically grown back into its original size. Again, we have the tiny hands available on EvanairaTV.com, so head over to the shop, pick one up, and also remember to uh, give this video a full thumbs up. I have a feeling we're gonna raise a lot of red flags at the airport security when we're on the world tour with all the props we're bringing with us. This is gonna look weird through a scanner. And that is how you do the magic shrinking hand trick. All right guys, it is bonus trick time. Here's a cool way to make your finger disappear. Check it out. Okay, watch, take your finger and it just magically disappears. Want to know the secret? Here's how it's done. Okay, here's the explanation to the magic disappearing finger trick. You can do this a couple different ways. The first version, you can only do in certain settings in certain situations. Let me explain. You need low light. It can't be super bright in the room like this or the audience is gonna see the secret to the trick. Here's what you need. You need some black felt. And you're gonna need to cut out a piece just like this. It's going to fit right between your fingers just like so. So a good way to do that, take some scissors. You're gonna lay your fingers out and then you're gonna kind of just get a rough idea of where you need to cut. Just right along here and right along your two fingers. So you're gonna end up cutting out this. It's gonna vary depending on the size of your hand. And then you're gonna need some double-sided tape or some rubber cement. You could also use regular tape if that's all you have. And you're just gonna take some scissors and cut the tape in half because you really only need some thin strips along the edges of the felt just like this and on the other side as well. Now, all you're gonna do is take your two fingers and stick them to the felt just like that. Now from the back side, you don't wanna show your audience that obviously. Say, watch, I have a trick I want to show you with my hand, specifically just one finger. You're going to curl these other fingers in and leave just a peace sign sticking out like this. So that is your felt on the back of the two fingers right there, peace sign just like that sideways. Now obviously you can see this because of the uh, lighting that we have in this room. Go ahead and bring the lights down. So now you can see with the lower light the felt really blends in with the black shirt. That is the other step of this trick. You need to be wearing a dark shirt, preferably black or whatever color felt you're using. And this all kind of relies on this felt camouflaging in and blending in with the background behind it. You could also be in front of a black wall or a black tablecloth. So you can have it over a tablecloth like this instead. And as your extended pointer finger passes behind the felt, it's gonna look like it just magically disappears. Super cool that you can even see the tip on the other side. It looks like it's just passing through like a wormhole or something where it doesn't show up right here. Like you have a mirror or something. The finger comes back out. You can then show your hand completely empty. It's a super cool visual, a really amazing way to make it look like your finger is just magically disappearing. And I'll even show you a gimmick free version of it right now. Take your finger like this, take your other finger and watch. As we go down, it looks like finger just magically disappears. So the gimmick free version is even easier than the other version. Really all you need are two fingers. So one finger is gonna go like this, the other finger is gonna go straight down. And as this finger comes straight down, it's going to bend as it passes this finger. So as soon as you get there, that finger is bending. It's gonna look like the finger just disappears. And as you bring it back up, you're gonna extend the finger back out. So from a back side view, here's what's happening. The finger's going down and it's curling in just like this. So from the spectator's view from the front, it totally looks like the finger is just magically disappearing. So then you can quickly bring it back up, just extend the finger back out, show both your hands empty and clean. Super easy hand trick that you can do at a moment's notice. And that is how you do the magic disappearing finger trick. All right guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with
with someone who you think might like it. Head over to EvaneraTV.com, that's our online shop. We have international shipping available on everything in the shop. Tiny hands, cards, magic stuff, shirts, hats, sunglasses, and a whole lot more. Head over to EvaneraTV.com, the link is in the description, and step your magic game up with some cool new gear. Alright guys, it is giveaway time. I am giving away five packs of five hands to five lucky comments in the comment section down below. All you have to do to win a set of hands is leave a comment on this video and give it a thumbs up. I'll be picking five random comments from the comment section and mailing out a five pack of hands to you so that you can perform the shrinking hand trick at home. The more comments you leave, the better your chances of winning the giveaway. Alright guys, it's time to announce the giveaway winners from the last How To Magic video. The winners are these names right here. Send me your full mailing address to evaneratv.giveaways at gmail.com to claim your prize. Congratulations to the winners and thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway drawing. Good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to hit the thumbs up and leave your comments below. Again, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button right down there and tap that notification bell so that you see all of our videos. The vlog channel is right down there. We're getting ready to go on our world tour again, so be sure to hit the subscribe button on the vlog channel too to keep up with all the cool around the world vlogs. The shop is right down there if you want to grab some merch and support the channel. The last episode of How To Magic is right over there if you missed it. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys. Take the scarf.